Hi everyone, I hope you like my weekly tutorials and this week we are going to learn how to create this effect. So this is really simple and easy and we only need two images. So this is first image that we are going to use, this background and this is our second image that we need. So I will leave you in link link in description where you can download those images. So this is our end result. Okay, and now let's go step by step how to create this effect. So let's go pick up here a lip stool and make sure you hold shift on your keyboard so you don't need something like this. We don't need some random shape. When we hold shift, we will get perfect circle. May I call it that way? Anyway, just let's go fill almost all okay close those and we need from up here fill just go no fill and from up here at the stroke let's go with 50 pixels and from up here and from up here we can change color of our stroke okay I will go stay with black maybe I'll increase this for 10 pixels it doesn't even matter okay my next move will be Control J to duplicate this layer great now Control T to get this layer smaller just like this it's really simple now hold Control to select those two and and go to your move tool and align those two layers right on the middle great i hope you follow me now let's go back to ellipse to copy now let's go back to ellipse tool so we can choose the size of our stroke for this one i'll need something like 20 pixels maybe this is yeah this looks nice okay one more time we will duplicate this ellipse to copy so Control j duplicate Control t make it smaller just like that and let's see is this okay now repeat those steps select those two go back to move tool align them in the middle and i'll need to get this even smaller for a bit okay i hope this is fine and now just go back align those two and the last step for this one is we need to get our type tool and when we work with with shapes and we can go you see how my mouse cursor change and when i press once up here it will allow me to type anything I want and to apply this effect. So I will just type your random effect. And from up here we can go and change a font. So it's up to you which font you like and which font you have so i'll just stay with this one so we, we can also increase or decrease the size of our let's just go with 300 and we can go make it inside or outside just like that just play with photoshop okay and once i'm satisfied i can go back up here and just hit Control T and I can rotate this text just like that you see nothing special okay that's it okay and now let's go to our image so let me just go delete this one and from up here I will just go duplicate it make sure your layer one is selected and just from up here let's just say we need levels so we need 
So just a simple step, do something like this, to make it more contrasty because you will see in a second why. Okay, that's it. That's what we needed. And now select those two and make sure your layer one, you, your mouse cursor is over layer one, right click, merge layers, that's it. And now make sure your foreground and background color are black and white and go to filter, filter gallery and from up here just go to sketch and find stamp. Let me zoom out and from up here we choose how our image looks. So this is up to you if you want more details or like dark balance. I will go with those dots because it's nice for me. Let's just say I'm satisfied with this, hit OK and that's it. And the last step is go to right click, go to blending options and from up here just go to this layer and just move this white around here. Okay, we don't see much happens because our background is activated. Now grab your move tool and just move it up here, something like this. So you see there is a still a lot of those white dots so we need to repeat this step. We need to get even more. Okay, let's see now. Now is much better, I think. And that's it. And now let's go bring this at the bottom and create a mask and pick your brush tool with some with some normal okay and just go remove this you see i messed up a little bit up here just hit press x and swap those colors and now go back just like that We didn't destroy our image, we just used mask for it. We can change that later if we need to change anything else. So this is our effect. And now make sure you're, you select all of them by going at the bottom and holding shift on your keyboard on the last layer and it will select everything in between. Now let's go create this into a group and control J duplicate group. Close the group too because we don't want to destroy our work and just right click on it, click merge group. And now last step is let's go back to our brush and choose some brush like this. Let's just say I will go with my brush. And once one more time I will create, excuse me, I will create a mask and I will just add some random effect. Let's just say this is effect I want. So guys, that's it for me in this video. I hope you like it. Make sure to subscribe and see you next week in new tutorial.